Yeah, man. What is up, my purples? How are y'all are doing today? Analog Weapon just posted a video on the Magpie Pirates forum doing a studio tour for me, which I think was sufficient enough, but I have a little bit updated since then, so I figured, hey, people seem to like the studio tours. Why don't show off some of my stuff and uh, act like I'm better than everyone else? So I want to do this one for the Magpie Pirates studio tours and probably also post this on my channel, my channel. I have my own little YouTube channel. Let us begin. Opening the door, you will see, you will always be greeted by two cats, Genghis the Lion and Chernobyl. Stay back! Beautiful specimens. Closing the door, you will see here the first thing is one of these uh, LED lights. Comes in handy when I'm recording the YouTube shit and other one videos, you know what I'm saying? On the wall, we have some of these mighty fine absorbents. The little myth I want to break here, these things don't really do that much, but they do dampen some of the higher frequency reflections going on. If you want to take care of bass and shit like that, you need a far more depth in these things. Wow. Going on down, looking down, we have a SP404A. This little hun, I use it a lot when I do live, which is not a lot. Planning to do an effort to do some more live. For instance, on a Friday, if you're in Stockholm, you should swing by Hilma, where we're having a release party for Robin Azulu, and I will for sure be using this. I don't make a lot of beats from scratch on this, but I do bring whole beats into it and uh, have fun with them, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I resample stuff. Look in here, we have the trusted all new mark. Now this hun right here has been with me for a long time and I use it to sample records and sometimes even to listen to music. It runs on batteries so that's pretty cool. Sound quality, not the best, but I always fuck up the sound a lot anyway, so I'm not looking for that crystal crispy clear thing in the jig, you know what I'm saying? Put the leg back on this fucker. Down here we got some records that I've been sampling. That's the dirty, the dirty truth, you know what I'm saying? We messy in here right now, but it's authentic, true to my everyday life. Back here in the corner we have a uh, Bass guitar case for the bass guitar, which I'm gonna show you later. And then the corner we have a Fost XPM2 monitor. I have two of those, but one of them is locked in the basement of my best friend, and he lost the keys to the basement. So we're gonna have to break in there, and it's been like two years. We haven't really dealt with it yet. It's my old PC right here. Made a lot of beats on here and I still have, I think, like 300 beats on there. And I'm very cautious with it because I haven't backed up the hard drive. It was a constant stress, you know what I'm saying? SNES Mini Classic, the Super Nintendo. Of course, modded to have all the game you want, you know what I'm saying? These uh, are very popular in Sweden as drug dealer bags or they used to be now they have uh, Louis Vuitton and shit like that but I used it to keep my GoPro stuff tripod for a camera my biggest fan SM57 always handy to have another generic bullshit dynamic microphone Zoom H1 is what I use to capture the sound from the sound card and I also use it as a microphone to speak with the mouth and uh, here we have the monitors I'm using right now. Behringer Truth B2030A. Considered probably crap by some people, but I've had them since I was like 16 years old and uh, I like, you know what I'm saying? GoPro, what I used to film all of the first videos on the Chicky Bit entirely. Machine Mark III. Y'all know it's my weapon of choice. This here table is called a Glorious Workbench. It's a pretty cheap one. Get a better view from the sofa couch, from the couch area. It needs to be a little higher though, because I can't fit my legs under there. So that's a big minus. I'm probably gonna have to just get something down there to 
lift it up. Sound card, Focusrite Sapphire 6 USB, works fine. Antidepressants, I don't know if they work, but I'm not depressed, so I guess so. The Game Boys, I love the Game Boys. This is my first console, and I have a few of them. These two are the ones that I use with the Ben Ven El Cheapo SD card in there so I can load up LSDJ. I like the OG gray ones the most. Cool. So I got two of those and I got a link cable to sync them up as well. Also have a... Fuck. Game Boy Advance SP with a super card flash in there. Also for game and uh, LSDJ in the pocket. Buddha keeps the piece in here. This is a photo of uh, me and my best friend Johan when we were 11 years old. Still to this day, hanging out. The ELZ-1 by Sonicware. Shout out to Dr. Yu Endo, hooking me up with this. The MacBook Pro, mixing a song right now, Mix 501. And if we pull out this thing, Got the complete control Mark 1 61 key version. Love this keyboard. Hate the touch strip. And this microphone here is what I use for everything. This is a very generic brand. It's even called Generis. But I bought this microphone when I was 14. I was working as a paper boy all summer. Driving up the hills, fucking uphill with the bike. Busted my ass to buy this. And it was about 80 bucks back then. You can imagine now what the quality is like. But like with everything, you know, I'm, I learned how to use it and I'm very comfortable with it. So it works fine. Probably sometime gonna get an upgrade to it, but I don't see why when it sounds good. Headphones. The 240s, stolen from my old school. I didn't do it. Here we have a DJ controller, the Newmark Mixtrack Pro 2. There are newer versions of this nowadays, but I did a whole lot of gigs with this and it's worked out fine. You know what I'm saying? You can even do some, some cuts with it. And once you get used to the, the feel of these, it's really nice. I tried even the way more expensive ones with the heavier jog wheels and uh, more resistance to them and uh, I'm so comfortable with these now that I think that these are better. It's very plasticky. These sliders are not gonna hold up for long if you use it a lot, but uh, it does the trick, you know what I'm saying? Here is my papa's old keyboard. It's a Studio Logic a Wade Keys 88 keys. It's nothing but a MIDI keyboard really, but it's, uh, it has a very nice, feeling to the keys. So I use that sometimes when I play piano sounds or roads and shit like that. Looking to here. This one was my uncle's and he's quite a bit younger than my mom. So when I was young, he was still living at my grandparents where they had this. And I spent a lot of time listening to Wake Me Up Before You Go Go on this. Greatest version ever. And it's got a lot of cool sounds on there. I still use it on some beats. Very nostalgic and dear to my heart. Here we have a bass guitar. It is a uh, Ibanez. This is actually my girlfriend, Robin Zulu's bass guitar, inherited by her father, who came from South Africa, went over to London as a performance artist, and then on to Sweden, where she met, where he uh, met her mother. And this is my biggest fan. You can see here also, on the sofa, on the couch, we have some sleeping gear. Sometimes I like to camp out in here because it's very quiet and cats don't jump on you while you sleep and claw you severely. Here's my little whiteboard that I have like shit I have to do this week. This is Drum Brothers. This is my first vinyl record I participated on as a rapper for the French trio Drum Brothers called Soul Square now. Great memory. 
And over here we have the NOG vinyl release of After All These Years, which I produced a track on and that was a big uh, bravado for me as well since I was listening a lot to Ed OG as a teenager. PO32 tonic on the wall. Generic electric guitar. Generic acoustic guitar. I don't use that a lot. I, I leave that to Smooth Lover and Al Gottlieri to play the guitar. And here in the mysterious closet we have a lot of fun stuff. Just a box for the Super Nintendo. We have a boxed, mint condition, unopened. Well, it's open, but it's unused. Game Boy, original Game Boy. The second box. I also have the original bundled with Tetris. Here's an old top box project that went to straight to hell box for the OP1. A bunch of boxes and shit, nothing fun really. For like two years straight, I used this as my only MIDI keyboard and I got used to it. Now I don't want to go back there. In here is usually very organized. You can see I like to have my cables sorted. So I've made some hooks on the walls to hang up all the cables. Now, Right here is, uh, right now it's like a storage shed of shit. This one, when I was 16, I had the SP303 and I made this box for it. Now you're not allowed to see what's in there now. Bunch of junk. EOS 550D, uh, I used this for some of the YouTube episodes. Right now, I just did the quality is good enough on this mobile. I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 right now filming with this. Look, crispy, crystal clear. Bass guitar amp. Never use it, I just plug it straight into the sound card, to be honest. Almost forgot it. Check out these radical shirts that I made, designed it. This is a SP1200 coming out of a genie's lamp. This is an amazing Game Boy. You think it's a fucking game? And this is the smooth operator with Sade with the OP-1. Get it? Because you're an operator if you're using the OP-1. And the song by Sade is called Smooth Operator. So it's kind of a pun. And it looks cool. Check them out. Well, I guess that is pretty much it. Okay, bye-bye.